This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine. Your stem cells, your health, your life. Hello and welcome to Horsing Around. I'm Dr. Chris Blevins at Kansas State University Veterinary Health Center. Today, I'm going to talk about a very exciting event that we're going to have come up here on April 14th and April 21st here this spring. It's free castration. So, uh, with that, we've par partnered with the Unwanted Horse Coalition. Uh, it's a national organization that has made this event free. Free to castrate any stallion that's out there within the area that needs, maybe a person needs help, can't uh, financially afford to castrate their animal. Well, with this organization partnered with Kansas State uh, College of Veterinary Medicine, we've made this possible again on April 14th and April 21st. Now with that, you need to pre-register, and so you'll have to call the vet school large animal desk at 785-532-5700 and get on the list. Uh, there is some things that they need to make sure that they have. Uh, one is they have to be healthy, and both testicles need to be descended, uh, and halter broke, preferably. Uh, with that, it's just a one-day event, so they just show up in the morning and pick up in the evening. Uh, and that should take care of what is going on. Now, why do we do this, and why is this organization sponsoring it? Well, with the Unwanted Horse Coalition, it goes in the confines of we have too many horses uh, that maybe aren't getting taken care of across the nation. Uh, even in the state of Kansas, we have about 75,000 horses in the census that was taken in 2012. And so with that, there's sure a lot that maybe potentially are intact, and they want to guild at some point. So it's just trying to help regulate that of the population based on castration. So with this, and if you'd ever want to learn more or to donate to the national purpose, you can go to the unwantedhorsecoalition.org website and go to the Operation Gilding part and learn more and maybe even donate if you potentially would like to for that. But teaching uh, students uh, here at the vet school and gilding uh, horses for free within the region and within Kansas is a big deal, and we're very happy and pleased to have that happening here at Kansas State in April of this year. Again, if you have any questions or want to pre-register, just call the large animal desk, and we'll get you kind of situated for that. The castration has been happening for over multiple years with the Unwanted Horse Correlation, where they've done over 1,500 castrations at 122 clinics across the nation in 31 states. So here in Kansas State, we're joining that team, and we're on that force to try to make sure that we have more horses that are castrated that may be not getting castrated based on financial restraints. So again, learn more on their website, Give us a call at the vet school, and we'll be able to help you in any point of that. I'm Dr. Chris Blevins at Kansas State University Veterinary Health Center, and we'll see you around. Tarwater Farm and Home has been family-owned and operated since its beginning in 1978. What you need for farm and agriculture, lawn and garden, clothing and footwear, and so much more. You'll be surprised at what you'll find in this huge store. They have what you need, and lots of it. So come take a look. You'll discover that customer service is first and foremost. Always has been with the Tarwaters. Tarwater Farm and Home, 4107 North Topeka Boulevard. 